Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Sable. My name is Jeff. You can call me Jeff. We'll jump into our save here. Hey, Nutmeg, thanks for climbing first. Hey, Joe, thanks for the hydrate. Thanks for the comments. I didn't actually launch that bot yet. You're going to have to give me a minute. Hey, Wally. Welcome in. That's right. We went back to Burnt Oak Station. Oh, that's the same bot. All right, we'll get us started. Right again. Hey, Minecraft. Still doing that. What's it called? I I pixel. Wally, you play Dinkum? We should sync up. Yeah, who knew? I don't know. Oh, hey, Wally, you want to do the new one? The unlisted command. Pazinga. Pazinga. <laughs> All right, what were we doing here? We were twisting. So we've got we we need to figure out what these ring shaped things are. Pazinga. Pazinga. <laughs> um meant to come over here. So just the fishing. Uh, we've got one more sarin terminal to find and scaring away the pink neck. I might do the fishing. I need two more of these. I could find the angler and see where those are supposed to be. And then turning in our, our final masks. Um, we don't have a mask to redeem right this second. Oops. Sure, we'll sit down. I didn't actually hydrate. I'll hydrate now, Joe. You go. All right, so I think every Sunday. Cool. Let's think here. I guess we could turn in a bunch of scrap. See the scrappers this way. Scrappy scrapper. Nice. I like working ahead. Yeah, having not having to like upload something the night before. Heard you come in. The sweet sound of incoming scrap. Yeah, sell the scrap metal. 480 cuts. Fetch everything I found for him, handing it over piece by piece. Say goodbye to all. Yeah. <clears throat> Just not knowing whether it goes up or being in a rush and forgetting to update the title or description or something. Lurk much? Lurk, work. All right. See you later, Wally. Uh... Yeah, your your internet for sure. Of course, the fish aren't gonna show up in here. Where is the angler? Yes, let's go visit the angler. It's been since like. Episode two, since we've gone to talk to this person. Yeah. Hello there, Glider. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Can you fix my camera angle for me? Yeah. Hey, Dan. Yeah, I started at like five after, so just a few minutes. 
Cassie says hello. Cassie. You can hear the furrow in his brow. And then he brightens. <gasps> Cassie. You know, Cassie. How is she? I tell Yoshi, Cassie's doing brilliantly. And that her vivarium is making a lovely start of it. That's great to hear. You know, hmm. She mentioned me, yeah? What'd she say? She said you were very kind. She said you're a good mentor. She said you've got the knowledge. She said... You had a driver at your window named Jeff? <laughs> My name's Jeff. Uh, I need to do this. That. Also, while I'm at it. Oh, back to Terraria again, huh, Dan? <laughs> um, she said you were very kind. Yeah, she nods. That's nice of her. And honestly, I'm happy to hear that. Always worried she thought she failed me or something because she wasn't much for fishing. Who cares, I say. I just wanted her to do what she loved. And it sounds like she is. I think I'll go by the vivarium sometime. Say hello myself. Thanks for that, Glider. <laughs> Goodbye. Along with a new computer, yeah. So I need to find... The three fish for the this guy's quest were all going to be in this region. I forget what the region's called. Sand Sea, maybe? I need to find different... biomes or whatever... to fish in here. There you are. So a pebble eye and a pillfish. Let's drive around looking for some uh, vegetation. Let's try this stuff. Let's see, how do I fish up? Why? Nope. I guide the raid tonight. Uh, there's the fishing button. Right in the directional pad. Alright, so... I aim for that bush over there. Aim, cast off, hold. Not even close. Right there. Oh, right, this. I was fishing Dinkum style. It's just mashing the button. Ha! <laughs> Sunhaven shenanigans would be fun. I haven't tried it yet. Have you tried it? Alright, so I gotta push the button and then back and forth. Ah. Uh, gotta push the button. Bam. <clears throat> Tap. No. Oh, follow that fish. Got him. <laughs> Dopey dart again. I've got several of those. So they like... They like this kind of bush. Let's try over there. Probably about the same. Be dark. Yeah, I don't want 
to get too far ahead if you have plans, huh? Alright, uh, Simoon. There you are. Come over here. She's just going in circles. Simoon! Hey! What are you doing? <laughs> I have to take Simoon to the vet. I mean, the mechanic. Machinist. Yeah. Let's try that grass stuff over there. Let's see what we catch. <clears throat> oh, fishy. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, that's a quick one. Oh, I almost had it there. Ah, uh, Bella Guppy. Hmm. It's the moon. Whoops. <laughs> Keeping us in line. You know it. Yeah, that's an interesting different kind of plant. Hurting cats. <laughs> Sounds about right. That's a dopey thing. So let's find, like, and not rocks, but some other completely different looking area that's still within the sand sea here. That's the Badlands over that way, so we don't want to go too far that way. There's a bit of a drop. Whoop. Jeez. Some real air <laughs> with uh, some moon here. Radlands. <laughs> Righteous. This button first. Then we cast. Yong. Bunk. The dead lands. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Suppose I could try another one. See if we get exactly the same thing. Oh, that was the wrong button. Gotta wait. <laughs> you can see the um, the chum layer in the background there with all the glowy pink. Um, 
Another Bella Gubby. Oh, I'm sad by it. <laughs> what about the Yigad lands? <laughs> Punishing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. When I catch this, these last two kinds of fish, I will be glad lands. You'll never catch me wearing plaid lands? Seem to be a bit bugged here. <laughs> Don't lose your bike. The bike lost me. What are you talking about? You get shit. Bro, it's the Bradlands. That's my mask. I'm wearing that beetle mask. I think it flickers every once in a while. Yeah. Like the wings on a bug. That's something. That one's too easy. <laughs> yeah, the plaid lands. Police Navi Dad lands. <laughs> I want to wish you Merry Christmas. All right, Simone. Simone. Take me somewhere good. Somewhere less dopey. If it comes down to it, I'll just Google what place to look. For these last two fish. I don't feel too bad about that. It feels a fishing in games usually feels a little bit like a random chance thing. I mean, at least in Dinkum, you can see the fish in the water and try for them. So you know exactly what's where. If you don't see any fish, well, then there's no fish. No, no point. Don't bother fishing there. Where's my bike, dude? Oh, too close. The <sighs> doper. It's a dope of dirt. A dip of dope of dirt. <laughs> a little salty about the fish. I could be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure the anglers, like the, the three he suggested I catch for his little quest, were supposed to be in the same area he was in here. Like, if I left this area, I would catch different fish, but it wouldn't be the fish for the quest. They were all supposed to be native to here. I don't know, let's try near these rocks, I guess. Just 
just random middle of nowhere. Fresh sandfish. Yeah. Not the salt sand. Rockfish. Bit jumpier. Got him. It's a Bulbasaur. Hello, Guppy. It's not above, it's below. something there because Simoon just buzzed at me. Okay, line it up. Zoom. Bonk. Yeah. They saw nothing, even though I just drove my bike straight through there. Didn't scare no fish off. So alluring. How many do I have? Nine, eight, and nothing else. Do 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 do. Looks like an interesting spot. No buzzing there. There's a wall. Where exactly am I on the map by this point? There's a center on me button way up here. Interesting looking grass there. Let's try there. <laughs> Too easy. All right. Let's do a little Googling. Bella Guppy, Sansi. We need the Pebble Eye, which is in Sansi, and the Pillfish. So the Pebble Eye says a common fish that seeks shade in the eastern dunes. Eastern dunes. The Pillfish persistence will pay off when fishing in areas full of cacti. So cacti and eastern dunes. The spice must flow. <laughs> There's a world outside of Yonkers, Barnaby. And I'll be a ditch digger my whole yeah. life. It's 
So is this, this is not the Eastern Dunes. Where's the Eastern Dunes? Are we over here? So like just in the middle of nowhere here, maybe? <laughs> Welcome back, Nutmeg. Did I did I drop offline or huh. Yeah, Twitch must have been twitchy. <laughs> I didn't even stop and start it. I've got one missed frame due to rendering lag and zero dropped network frames. So, it's Twitch being twitchy, I guess. Alright, when we left off, our intrepid hero was googling how to find the fish. Thank you for claiming first, Dan. Hydrate, Joe. Thank you for claiming thirst, again. <laughs> Da, 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 da. All right, so somewhere in the dunes, the eastern dunes is where we're going to find one of these. Yeah, I got a reconnection notice from my bot a minute ago, so it was, I think it was just Twitch. OBS isn't saying there was any problem. No video. Maybe try refreshing. A <laughs> sand dollar, I think it would. Fish, 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 fish. Here, fish, fish, fish. Mm, dopey. <laughs> Try again. Dang Twitch. <laughs> so this one. The ones I'm going for are the the pebble eye and the pillfish. And the pebble eye, the wiki says, it's a common fish that seeks shade in the eastern dunes. Of Sansi. Which is where I am still, right? Yeah. I don't know how far east the eastern dunes are. <laughs> right, Joe. That's why I was fishing out here. I mean, I guess maybe I'm not east. I'm still, I'm north. I should go like here ish. <clears throat> Some moon. Oh, you're right here. This way is east. Oh, there's your bike. Thank you, game. Can't tell you how many times I've lost my bike.
on a dune itself. Like I was gonna head out here. Where it's mostly just dunes. I did the thing again. It's like... These things are rocks. I don't think I'll catch anything on this, but how close am I? Still a little further south if I want to be east. Let's try like in the shade there. <laughs> Barely made it in the shade. But it'll work. Probably get another dopey. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think this counts as rock, so I don't think I'll catch anything here. Yeah, it won't even let me cast onto it. Stop fishing. Let's... So further down that way, maybe? Let's just try it. Bonk. Ah! I was... Finger on the wrong controller. Wrong control. <laughs> Hello, Guppy. So where are... Where does it say these are? Keep catching Bella Guppies, common in the sands of Midden. Hard to miss. Eastern Dunes. There's some moon over here somewhere. Oh, there's your bike. There you are. is a lot further south than I was expecting. There we hit it. Alright, so where are we in relation to the angler? Okay. Maybe this would be the eastern dunes way over here. Uh, let's try around here. Oh, 
Oh, look up, Oh, look up, You're the one. You make fishing all oh, so fun. Oh, look up, I'm awfully fond of you. Boop, boop, dee doo. Don't be dark. Guessing fellow guppy. Yep. <laughs> I'm starting to get a feel for how they move. Which means I'm catching too many of them. There. Gotta get right in the bush. That'll do. One's a dope. Oh, hello, Guppy. Let's try it in that thing if we can hit it. Yeah, this one's a dopey dart. And let's just try like straight up the hill here. Straight into the side of the dune. Bonk. <laughs> that was the wrong button. It's the kind of thing where it's just random chance. been up that tower? I think I have.
Where exactly am I? Mm-hmm. Looks like maybe there was a chum at the top that I already collected. Stairs. If these aren't dunes, I don't know what eastern dunes are. That's pretty far south. There's these way over here. I went to the wind tower and then to that blue marker. Ah. Which is... This way. Simo! If we go too far around that way, then we end up in the, uh, the waste. I think it is. Turn. This way a little bit. Ooh, there's some cactus. That other one said to persistence pays off in cactus. Get something. There's something. Nope. A little deeper in here. Oh, this one's different. fish a small frilly fish that collect in swarms near cactus roots they are poisonous to humans but secrete a fluid sometimes used for pain killing purposes Killfish. cool so we still need just the one pebble eye pebble eye So, Samoon, if you don't mind, don't mind driving straight through that cactus. Could be. I wouldn't put it past the game. No, Meg? Turn around. Uh-oh. And there's a lot of cactus here. I don't think I ever drove through here. At least you clip through them. Don't crash. Oh, except for the really big ones, I guess. <laughs> like these little ones. Let's go right through them. Alright, so I went past the spot I marked and it's all cactus. Let's see about... It's not east, though. This is the Badlands. Badlands. Did I actually finish this ship? Because I still have one more Saren terminal to find, too.
feel like I would have finished this. Since we're here, let's take a look. No, no, that's not quite what I wanted there, Sable. But on, boy. No, I don't know if I ever did this. There's the power thing up there. Get to there's some scrap over there. I was just gonna say I was surprised. I'll be surprised if this is where the Saren terminal is, so close to the start. But at the same time I didn't know what I was looking for back when I would have run across this. This feels like a place I've been, though. Where's that trying to get me to? I don't need back up there. Let's drop in. I've definitely been in here. Hmm. I... Got to have done this before. The door up there was blue. If anything in here looks like a Saren terminal that's there. Get that to turn a little bit, maybe. Using that one. Some scrap. I wonder if the scrap respawns occasionally. I can't imagine I would have left that. Hi, Saren. I feel like this is the first time I saw Saren was in here. Hello? No unread messages. Okay. No. I'm done. Bye. So I have been here. I just either didn't pick up the scrap or it came back. Some of the puzzle seems like a reset maybe too. I don't need in here. But outside of here, there's more scrap again. There was a chum back in the corner over here that I already got. Let's exit here, I think. This was the first time I saw one of these towers, too, I think. Rode through the Stargates. I'm kind of wondering if these are the terraformers. Like, is this something that, some kind of technology that came on the ships? Or is it something native and, like, something to do with the perpetual which is what traps everything and all the radio signals here I've definitely been in here
Yep. There's no more interacting with these. Still insanely curious what these are for. I thought maybe, maybe if I got three of them, then I could make a mask out of them. Get rid of that marker. All right, do the Google one more time. Pebble eye. Where to catch pebble eye. Among the dunes in the eastern part, a hellfish can be found in the small string of land leading to the northern area. There are a lot of cacti there. Sand sea, the fish you need to find are by looking at the map here. Yeah, it just says among the dunes in the eastern part. It doesn't give any more details about. Oh, geez. Looks like Yoshi will give us more challenges after this, and we can get a angler, angler badges. That's a lot of fishing, though. I at least want to catch this pebble eye, I think. Get the first challenge done just to say I did. So the eastern part here. Yeah. I guess we just go out here and fish a bunch. Do we find find a pebble eye? There you are. This way. I mean, is this Eastern? I don't have to get off of Samoon. Check this. I'm sure this is Eastern. Can I fish? No. Can't fish from the bike. Let's just try here. One of the bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Simon. <laughs> Let's go over by these rocks. What's that? What is that noise? Like straight across this dune here. I 
anything at all? Hey. way <laughs> that's a long ways <laughs> okay dark I like toward these plants here There's some pebbles here. Try not makes theory. Here's some of these rocks. of these. There. Yeah, right between those rocks. Dirt. One more time. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure Angler is not the mask I want to put on and be for the rest of my life. <laughs> Last ditch, let's try these dunes down here. Ah, fair. <laughs> the thing is, these all look so similar, too. I'm like, did I fish in this spot already? I don't know. Maybe. I'll try like three times here and then then we'll zoom around all the different ships to see if I missed Saren in one of them. A dope. A dope. Dope. A dope. A dope. 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 A dopey dopey dope. for the bone fish. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, so as far as ships, we did the Dunboin. Uh, the whale was up here. We definitely found... Did I not do that one? 
feel like I did that one last time. Is there a whale out here? No, the whale's over there. In the uh, Red Sea here. A whale. Shadow of Nave. Still plateau. That was a cool area. A little going though. Center of Brunswick. Let's check Trellix pillar. I think I did this. Let's see, there's a red door. And I want to paint it black. What if I turn that red? No, that's right. That was a shortcut. Originally, I had to come in through a hole up there. And I could push that button, let me in. That's that's not the door. I was just like, that's no, red. Where does that door even go? And there's that door. Here. Can get up here. Can't climb that. Cross here. once told me fish were gonna troll me Is this the long way around to get to the top entrance from before? It is. There we go. Yep, this will drop me into the big room. I stopped climbing. Just the store that I was trying to get into all along. Zinga, zinga. <laughs> okay. So I met Saren here. No unread messages. Goodbye. So that's Trellix Pillar and the Dunbane. Balfron connection. Let's try there. Bazinga. Hmm. Down there's how I get it. This. 
Okay, so the... The chum outside suggests I've been here before. Medic! Medic! I think it's nigh. I'm still... I'm not going to finish this fishing task. After this one, there's two more sets of three, so nine fish altogether if I want to get the fishing thing, and as much as I'm not enjoying it, I'm not going to choose that one anyway. Um, we have lots of masks. Where are they? Over here. The whale ship mask is just a special one. We got our cartographer's mask. We got the machinist's mask, the entertainer's mask, the guard's mask, the Hercules beetle mask. That's the Abexi mask that I started with. Merchant's mask, Scrapper mask, and then the Shade of Ecrea mask was another special one. So there's not too many more to get. I really want to figure what this is. Well, not well, I wonder I'm trying to find the last of these uh AI terminals. I also want to figure out what these ring-shaped artifacts are for. It's these. I've got three of them. I'm not sure where to put them. And I kind of wonder if they have something to do with Saren. Like if I find the last Saren terminal, it'll unlock that. Also, it'd be kind of cool to finish off the Chum Queen stuff. Which I need... How many more? Under general, I have seven. So 13 more Chums if I want to finish the Queen's task. But that's pretty much it. Right now I'm revisiting all the ships to see where... Oh. It's like, what do I climb here? Revisiting all the ships to see if... Um, if I missed a Saren terminal in one of them. It might just be another ship I haven't found, too. Oh, there's a little door under here. Got the chum. Hmm. Some of these I visited so long ago, I don't remember. I'm not sure whether I've finished these or not. This place is unfamiliar to me. And it doesn't help that it seems like the scrap reset. That other ship I went to, got all the scrap back. What you been up to lately? Yeah, this door's locked. I'm gonna get a power source up here. Hey, scrap. What do you do? Ooh. Do you keep moving? hear that. Kids, work, work, work. Whee! I might be able to jump this. Oh, it looks like something would move. Hey, I did. If I can throw this down somewhere, should I? Looks like I would go there. Just leave that here for a minute. Nice. Mm hmm. Whoops. Okay. 
Let's see, I think this would launch me. Maybe I could, with the power cube in hand, jump up there. Have this launch me up there. Like so. I think that's the solution. So we jump across here. Step on it from this direction, so we're in the same way. Hey, Wally's back! Whee! Too much, too much. Actually, that'll do. Perfect. Yes! Everybody said... Everybody got booted. Even though I still show no drop network frames. Like something happened and I reconnected. So that did. Whoop. Um, hey. Okay. Some cuts, I guess. Anywhere else to go in here? No. Huh. This isn't quite what I wanted, though. Wait. Work much? All right, Dan, have a good drive. There. But the door I wanted. Can I take. I could launch and take the power cube that way, can I? That way with it, take it down the hallway. A little further. Yes. Yeah, I don't feel like I've done this part. So maybe Saren is in here. Yep, achievement unlocked. Alfron connection. There he is. He, she, it. They are. I say hello to Saren. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the whale to authenticate. You have unread messages, Sable. This should be the last unread message. Here are your unread messages. <laughs> All right, thanks for stopping in, Medic. I'll see ya. See you next time. You watch your mouth, Wally. Recording six. The text on screen remains a mystery, but this time, I barely look at it. If it's lost to me, then so be it. I want to hear more. This time, Captain Singh sounds different. Older? Up and running for 15 local years. I think that's about 20 in Earth time. Radiation levels are approaching critical and only rising. Between that and the lack of breathable air, even our children's children will need protective gear to do so much as walk between ships. I wonder if that's why we're in the tradition of wearing masks. You think? Deacon finally gave up the ghost last week. Age. Nothing more. Just time. We've been lucky that way, I think. Guy never gave up on a corporate rescue mission. Bazinga. Him that. Bazinga. Bazinga. Eh, <laughs> duty. It's stupid. Even if they were floating around up there, they'd they have no way of getting down here. At least as far as we know. That stuff in the atmosphere. Who knows? Singh pauses for a moment and sighs to himself. Saren, I'll be shutting down your primary functions in order to preserve power. You'll be booted up once every few years to try and send some long-range comms, but that's a job I leave to future generations. 
But this way you'll have enough power to sustain yourself for a few hundred spins around this star. Hell, maybe more if anybody can figure you out. There's a break, and I think it's over, but... I'm sorry things ended up this way. I had hoped better for us than to be stranded on a planet that wants to kill us, but... Won't let us leave. Maybe you'll be able to make sense of this one day, but if anyone asks, in whatever century, tell them I tried my best. Now I need to go take care of my people. For what it's worth, sir, I quite like the masks. I think I was right. Sing laughs, and it's sad, but sweet. Thank you, Saren. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. The recording shuts off abruptly, leaving me wondering. I take a minute to collect my thoughts, and then I say goodbye too. No unread messages. Goodbye. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the whale. Not too far away. There's one more thing. Oh yeah, just ride Samoon in. It's it's so far. Such a big ship. This was the main ship in a fleet. And... They crashed here because of the... whatever the perpetual is. Oh, over here. Right. Ah, long, long. There's, there's a ladder somewhere. There it is. Couldn't see it straight on or side on like that. So they all ended up crashing here. And in the crash, it damaged the terraformers, but they set them up anyway. They spewed radiation for so long that people had to wear masks in order to move between ships, but they still stayed here and they didn't die off. They lived long enough for it, for us to eventually take over. I expected that red one to be green, but maybe after we talk here. I say hello to Saren. Hey, achievement unlocked, amateur historian. You've recovered data from all six ships on this planet. Thank you, Sable. I'm beginning to understand. Saren trails off, an edge of doubt betraying their otherwise emotionless figure. You now have full clearance, Sable granting you complete access to the whale facility. It's like a new bike. The bike in the chamber looks shiny and new, despite being ancient. I ask Saren if it's really for me. Yes, Sable. There is nothing stopping me from granting you full access to my facilities. Please, avail yourself of this transport device. I assure Saren that I will come to visit as often as I can. I say farewell to Saren. Historical reconnection complete. Hmm. You know what these things are? Oh, and red messages. Goodbye. Oh, I need to go unlock the door. Or open the door. It's not this one. It's the other one. And once I open this... Maybe, maybe not. Whale ship bike wing. So these are still parts that I could go and customize the moon with. Okay, it's not a whole new bike. Uh, 
Okay, is that just a glitch then? Why is that one still red? I found all six ships. I opened all the doors. All two of them. Is there something else in this other room that I didn't hit? There's just the one door out of here. Cuts. That's money. Hmm. See, that's going to bug me. <laughs> All right. So, what the heck are, are these things? Ring shaped artifacts. Also, I have a ton of. Uh, chums to find. Oh, stuck there. I saw. I don't know. So the Saren mission is obviously complete. A quest. I mean. Just bothers me that that one, one little light didn't turn green. All right, well, I think we can get out of here. Um, there's some moon. Never lose your bike. There you are. She's ignoring me. I kind of want to visit the vivarium one more time. Got at least one new fish. Maybe some new butterflies. And that was... Down here somewhere, right? No worm cave. Brunswick, watch. Worm. Bone station, the vivarium go there. I feel like maybe the Badlands is the area I explored the least. Maybe I'll find some chums there. Let's head inside. What was this person's name? Cassie, I think. Cassie? Hello again, Sable. What do I want to discuss? And then some fish. Thank you, Sable. Great stuff. I'll get them in the tanks. Oh, well, looks like you're already a more competent disaster. Competent, competent angler than this disaster. Points to herself. Somehow I'm reminded of me. Cactus spine rod. New item. Actually, I've got something here. Take this rod. It's a much smoother action than the old one you've got. I think it's... I think it's mean to help you... I think it's meant to help you out with the feistier creatures. Take the new rod and thank Cassie. Do I want to discuss? 
Hand in some butterflies. I hand in some hand over some butterfly specimens. Thanks, Sable. Put these into tanks. Tanks. I'll put them into tanks. Uh do you know where I can catch fish generally? But I've actually got my old angler notes handy. We have to trade for them if they're of interest. Here's what I've got. So I can buy the clues on where to find stuff. That's what I was looking up in the wiki. I want to discuss which butterflies. Goodbye. Take care. Enjoy your gliding. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> all these butterflies and stuff. I'm actually going to sit here for a minute. And look up. I want to look up what these ancient rings are. I I could explore around. I guess. But how long would it take? Let's just rest a moment. Look this up. I think other than that and picking my mask. Those are the, uh, the final things to do, pretty much. Ring. Okay. So in each region, except for the Ewer, Ewer, how do you pronounce that? There's an unmarked monument that can be activated by flying through the nearby rings. Most of these are easy to spot on the map. They're drawn as mid-sized red spots. In Red Sea, where this isn't a defining feature, the monument is located south of Ecria. So... So I only have three of them. I need to find the rest of the rest of the things. So there's something to do, I guess. There, there. So let's check the map. We definitely got the one in this area, right? Pretty sure. One of the first things we found when we left the Ewer, right? But oh, wait, we, we came across it up this way, right there. Right outside of the ship. So we got... A sand sea worm. This is red sea where we're not going to find it easily. Um, pour it in the, on this map. There. Um... They said it's south of Ecria on this one. Which is here. Yes. Maybe this. This is very round looking. Um, I find it hard to believe I didn't see one out here. I 
Is that that's the balloon? Here. Okay. And down here. Hmm. Lots of little red spots. It's slightly bigger than those are, though. Hope traffic was good. So I looked up what I'm supposed to do with our Yo. Yo. So quick. I looked up what I'm supposed to do with these. And it turns out there are six of them all together. There's one in each region except for the where the Abexi live, the Ewer, is over here. So I'm finding each of them on the map and going to visit. I think maybe, maybe this. I don't know. If it's not that, we'll look around some more. And I know I've been to some of them, like definitely one up here. Let's look up one in the Badlands. Might be one of the ones I got right there. So let's visit some of these places. Let's go to Kemble's Cube. And then go visit that temple. See if we got it already. And we can visit each one. Mark them off our map. Actually, zoom out. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. So hopefully, we get all of them actually here. I'm immensely curious about that. Which one am I going for? The magenta one. I need to go right a little bit. This way. And this way? No. Yeah. Further right. Whoa. Yeah, this way. Okay, it looks like I already activated that one. No? No, no. No, the thing would rise up to meet it. Let's get up here. Ooh. There should be rings to ride through. Somewhere here. Bonk. There they are. Jeez. It's weird which of these plants are solid and which ones you just clip through. Here we go. One. Up and over the hill. Two. Herb. Should be the last one, I think. Yep. There it goes. I was wondering how I missed these, you know? But, like I said, I didn't explore too much in the Badlands. I also did plenty of not exploring in the salt flats. Like, I rode around a little bit, but I didn't go into that super barren area. I didn't go... Where even is it? I didn't go all the way down here, I don't think. 
Or if I did, it was hidden behind something, kind of. Let's get the ring! Sable and the Six Rings. It's a Marvel movie. Hikarik Ring Artifact. So there's that one. Let's travel to hmm. the watch. Photographer's balloon might be a little, a little closer. Uh, go to the watch. We're going for the lime green. Lime green. Hey, okay. on Smoon. Whoop! Watch out! Crazy driver. I'm green. I got this one. The thing's not floating. We can see the stairs. So this one's been gotten. Couldn't remember which three I had. Just to double check, we're going inside. Make sure the thing's not in there. Let's. All right, the marker already disappeared because we got close enough to it. Um. Okay. So that one. Oh, I want the map to go further over. That one. What shadow of Neve? Photographer's balloon. Let's go there. Nice high up location to jump off of. So bright. <clears throat> right, which color was this? Blue. That way. I can see one of the rings right there. Pretty sure I didn't explore a whole lot here either. In this region. were that way. Yeah. So hopefully the first one to drive through is just this one. Hello! My name is Sable. I will be completing a quest today. Here's two. My name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. No, no, it's Sable. Three. And there's four. Two. Sable Samoon and the Temple of Nyom. Call me Sable one one two. Just this map. 
Okay. Let's head back and collect the ring. That makes five. I had three. I got one new one. But yeah, this should make five. So that was the blue one. Um, if I missed any of them, I would bet it was this one. Well, no, there was this, this. Let's go see. What is the geyser tower? Also, what shiny mask? I don't know if I'm going to get the, I'll look up the other quest, scaring off that, not a tall neck. That's horizon um long neck redneck what the <laughs> what's the thing's name the bird we're supposed to scare off from here um riding the wave pink neck like a redneck slightly less done a hey, uh Medium rare red. Oh, I definitely got that tower. See it. Okay. <laughs> Don't have to go to that one. So. Hit there. There. I guess this one? South of Ecria. Uh, the wiki said. Part of me doesn't like just looking up walkthroughs and you know, it feels cheaty, but I also feel like I got a very decent amount of this game done on my own without looking stuff up. So I'm not going to feel bad for... Oh, right there. Whoa. Why are you pointing straight at the thing? Strafe. Well. This way. I don't feel bad for looking up some of these last couple of quests. I don't need them. How did I miss this? It's right here. Uh, one, two, three. Is there one more this way? Nope. Funk. Okay. Bazinga. 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 Gotta work on that green screen. A little bit of it's still showing through. One. Oh, there's all four of them. So this will be number six then. Oh, come on. Three. And four. sound there. Hey, 
I'm actually working with Wally to try and get that set up in a way that he could run it on his machine. Learn some new techniques. <laughs> like, um, so Wally sent me the video with the short that he posted where he pops up and says it a few times. I picked the one with the least amount of machine gun background noise and uh, removed the background turn it into a green screen so that when I play it in OBS I can use the chroma key in OBS to remove the green so it's just him popping in and then so far it's just a command I want to figure out how to I don't I don't have any of my bot stuff hooked up to you know point redeems I want to figure out how to do that next so, next up, we collected all six of those. Um, see, the Badlands north of Kemble's Cube. Where to go next? Bazinga. It's also randomized. What's BS? Or you weren't sure? Oh, BS. Oh. BS. I thought you were calling me out for something. Um. Which one? Oh, in the Badlands. Temple's Cube, north of here. There's supposed to be a mysterious shrine of some kind. Let's travel there. Oh, uh, oh. I can remove these. Why is it placing all the markers? It's because it's X to remove them. Sure, remove all markers. One there. Okay. Then we'll fast travel to. Whoa. Kimball's Cube. Wait, you play Terraria? I think I have that one. I've never tried it. I have a long list of games I have that I've never tried. Alrighty. Come on, Samoon. Oh. Need to go oh, this way. Watch out for that tree. Okay. Don't lose your bike. Thank you. I think it's up here and then around to the right a little bit. La da da dee. Maybe the other side of this. in the past the one time you streamed oh short hardcore series on YouTube Joe so I think I don't approach from this side I think I might approach from the other side
Let's see if I can climb up and over, maybe. Might be quicker. Do we climb? We climb. Also, where are my chums? Oh, my chums. And this part. I guess I could have found some of this stuff by just looking closer at the map. But I also felt like when I was looking at the map, I figured most of it was just stone. Rocks and trees. The birds of the sky. A little bit of a passageway here. Get in there. <laughs> um, go up. That's not right. I think I need to go around. <laughs> Simu! Alright, so first of all, I need to go back this way and come at it from the other side. Whee! Half pipe. It's too far. I'll go right around this one. <laughs> I don't want to know what the back rooms of Sable would look like. Probably giant fish. Sandworms, probably. Dune style. Don't oh, lose your bike. Thanks, game. A little more. Chums wearing masks. Blink, blink, blink. Like Wally would say, creepy. So up there. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. Up there. Maybe I can go like up and around this. Like on the edge. Indeed. Secret tunnel through the mountain. This looks like a machinist's thing. Is there a machinist nearby? IT machinist. I was hoping for someone a little more useful. <laughs> cool. It's just like the, there, there's going to be a, one of the Knight Templars in here. They're going to do a challenge with some cups. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> it is more fun when you do it in person. You're right, Wally. Nothing over here. Quick 
Chum check. Hey, there's the machinist. I'm gonna have six pedestals to put him in. Hello. Can I... Can we talk? Do you talk? This is weird. Like, would they have talked to me? Just walk up and hit the button anyway. <laughs> there was no interaction button. <clears throat> Every time I meet another machinist, my mind wanders back to Ciso. I wonder if she's hearing of my travels through whatever network connects their guild. I wonder if she's proud. I think of her now as I greet this stranger. Machinist her. Oh, I love meeting gliders. Come here, come here. What's your name? I approach and tell her I'm Sable. Sable sounds a lot like table. You get that a lot? This is the first time. I tell her this is the first time. Really? First thing I thought of. First thing. Anyhow, my name's Fur. Sounds like fear, right? Sounds like deer, too. Sounds like sheer, too. Sounds like peer, too. Sheer. I say sheer. She looks thoughtful. I mean, I guess. Anyway. I didn't call you over to talk rhymes. I called you over to show you something you are going to love. I'm pretty deep into historical stuff. Ruins, old-timey ships, the old books. All the old monumentalist leftovers. You know? I nod. Well, recently I've discovered, deciphered a few monumentalist texts, which point to some sort of synergistic structures positioned all across the world. In all different deserts. What do you mean synergistic? Or could they be waypoints? Hmm. What do I want to say? Could they be waypoints? I offer fear. I offer to fear that the Abexi have often placed stone waypoints across the desert as markers for themselves and others. I'm not sure it's relevant, but a little tug of homesickness made me say it. That's interesting. I've seen some of those sorts of things before. I suppose it could apply here, but I think it's something else. Something way more fun. I ask what she thinks they are. I think they're a game. See, we have this thing, everybody does, where we look to the past and we assume that they were all work and no play. Because all we see... All that persists is their labor, ships and logs and tools and things. But fun? Fun's ephemeral. Jokes disappear. Doodles get lost while art survives. So if we lose it all and we go on assuming we... So we lose it all and we go on assuming they never had any. So if you've got the time and the inclination glider, I'd recommend you keep your eyes open for monumentalist architecture that seems suspicious or strange and responsive somehow i'd say a glider on a bike's the perfect person to test my theory if you're up for it sounds fun good thank you i'll try to keep deciphering my records report back what you find please and if you sort out the game i hope you enjoy it i tell her i will great thanks table and good luck. People. <laughs> Alright. Ring-shaped artifact I found looks like it would fit in the pedestal. Insert the ring. Whoa. I should bring more ring-shaped artifacts. Anything new to say? Tell fear what I found. Yes! Wonderful! You've definitely activated something, but... What did I do? <laughs> Table. You've definitely activated something, but if the look of it is any indication, and it usually is, you're missing more. If you can find some others, I'd really appreciate it. i put like one at a time and see what she says. Insert the ring. Ooh, Ooh cool. What are you? 
That looks familiar, actually. Uh, not so much that camera angle. There was something on the map that looked like that. Maybe it's these things I'm thinking of. It's the whale. Yeah, I guess maybe I was thinking of these station markers. Makes you think it was a way to get you to look at the whale stuff. Sable, what did you do? Uh, I made a pillar, looks like. <laughs> That's it. Rune looks like a burger. Now I'm hungry. Kind of looks like a Dalek, too. A little bit. Turns out, turns out the the the, the perpetual is just a shield put up by the Daleks while they recharged underground. <laughs> Exterminate! Yeah, insert the ring. That one sounded more ominous. Sable, what did you do? Um. Okay. Insert the ring. I'm also trying to tell if any of those shapes were on the, or that big clock watch thing. Beautiful, excellent, nice. Fair is giddy, and I can't help but get excited along with her. It feels like we're doing something quite important. I'm making decent progress on the first inscription. Something about victory or success? Not sure yet. Lots of nuance. I'll take a look at this new stuff and you go and see what else you find. It's a Cyberman. <laughs> and this one will be, what, some Tarans? Insert the ring. The Time Lord. Excellent. Nice. Beautiful. And it's just the same thing. Here goes the last one. Ancient race, I should speak to the machinist at the mysterious shrine. You're a lifesaver, Sable. I thought I was a table. That's all the inscriptions. The first two suggest they might be instructions? Is it bike parts? To build something, I think, but the third part seems to be where all the good stuff is. Ask what she means by good stuff. The why and what of it all. Why are we building this and what are we building? I suspect that this is a bit of a treasure hunt, and you're meant to make your own prize. In which case, part of the game is solving the third clue. So I think your work is done for now and mine begins. Give me a few days, Sable. I reckon I can crack this soon. I tell Fear, I'm keen to see what she comes up with, and we say goodbye for now. Still working on it. Come back soon. Okay. The lovely mint flavoring on the food. <laughs> I don't think this is a uh, Bones Cafe kind of situation, Joe. So, so I'm looking at the map. I guess there's one there. Like, there's almost no chums marked. I guess I have to zoom in a little closer to get those. There are all kinds of them there. The poison. Cusco's poison? The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. That poison. Chum, 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 chum. So leave and come back. Wonder how long I have to actually do that.
Look at that. <laughs> Wrong lever, Crank. Why do we even have that lever? Yeah, Dan, send me a send me a DM in Discord or something as a reminder. I think I've got a few that I still have to set up after uh, Joe sent me a note. So we just now have to a few days. Um, uh, I have no idea what kind of. Let's look up the pink neck. And for good buddy. Oh. Ah, the mouse works on here too. Um pink neck. Riding the wave. Riding the wave. Place in the geyser tower. Oh. Okay. So basically cheating, but I don't know. I guess I could have tried all the masks. Geyser Tower. Travel there. <laughs> Noted. Gotcha. Noted a few. <laughs> Auto corrupt. Whoa. Um, I'm going to find our way up again. Um, probably won't help much. Like there, I think. I guess we just start climbing. I don't remember the way up. I put a random weight in between those two. So every time you trigger it, there's like one to three seconds pause between the two of them popping up. Or sometimes they'll pop up at the same time, like a quarter of a second, I think. We have the stamina for this. Tom waits? No. Yeah, that's not happening. Alright, what's the way up here? This looks likely across here. A 
around. Over, under, through. Maybe I pop out of that and go up and left. Here. That looks doable. It's us a little higher. <clears throat> Can you take me higher? Send me. I think this is one of the geyser things. Send me. Come on, I want you to do it. I don't think this is one of the geyser things. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> yeah, I can climb this one. Dude. I think up by one of those two trees. I can't remember now. Mm -hmm. Should I go to that one and have it Fire me up higher. As a deep hole. Hello. Let me try that. Maybe kind of losing some progress going up, but I think this will send me higher than. Also looking around for chum. Grab it on. <clears throat> All right. We want to go. Oh, pick quick. That way, I guess. Yeah, there they are. Hello. I say goodbye. <laughs> But I think up there is where we needed to get. And according to the wiki, we wear a The machinist's mask is shiny. Made from rough parts of old ships beaten into a smooth, perfect surface mask beautiful because of its functional qualities. Alright, now I just have to get up there. Is there a geyser nearby? That one. I need that one. Here we go. Wait, fun. <laughs> How long have I been playing this game? Today... I forgot the jump button for half a second there. <laughs> it's 
be two hours 19 if you didn't get disconnected. And we're going that away. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, here we go. Wee hee 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 Riding the lightning. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Riding the geyser is a new one. Very reliable transportation. Old faithful. All right, so we go up here and scare off the bird with our shiny mask. That's a pretty cool shot. Hi, bird. Oh, I feel a little bad. You just took the eggs. Okay. Geronimo! I try not to look too tired as I hand the eggs over to Dylan, who seems positively delighted. Would you look at that? Hate to admit it, but you might be a better climber than me. At least a better bird scarer. Birds trembled before me. Please just come down now. Mm, I suppose I should get back to Zebby. But before I do, you deserve this. That's like no climb I've ever seen. Certainly not by an amateur. Climbing badge. Hands me a climbing badge and I thank him for it. See you around, glider. And thanks. I say goodbye to Dylan. Hooray! So is that... Yep, I can claim the climbing mask now. Hooray! Down we go! This is not the hole I wanted. Don't say it. Hmm. <laughs> Nutmeg's still on. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, honey? <laughs> I remember seeing this part. Who are you? Plant Weaver, Rachel. Oh, hello. That's what I said. Hello. Hmm. What is this place? These baths, they are ancient. I've never even heard of them before. They seem to use the flow from the hot waters that are inside the rocks and circulate them through the baths. Imagine this as a bathhouse. These people must have come from all over to rest and recover. And who are you? My name is Rachel. I'm a plant weaver. A whole time. <laughs> Rising. My name is Rachel. I'm a plant weaver. I've never heard of a plant weaver before. Is that a tiny tree that inside that? Is that a tiny tree inside that glass orb? Glass orb. Where? Oh, there. Huh. That's cool. We nurture plants. Whether a struggling rougeur in the wild or a flourishing sporling of melancholy mushrooms in a cultivated garden. Without plants, life would cease to exist. I came with the climber and hunter, but I think I'll stay here. There's something special about this place. I think some very unusual flora would thrive here. I have never seen some of the things growing here. See you around. I just take this butterfly. Yeah. Step well, dragonfly. Oh no, I broke your thing. Sorry, Rachel. I 
thought it would hold my weight. Neat. Alright, but let's go back to... What's their names? Dude, where's Samoon? The Samoon was at the entrance that I needed. I think this is, yeah, this is a way in. Go visit the, these two guys here. Zebi isn't nearly as harried as when I first met them. They greet me warmly, and I feel their relief in my shoulders. Thank you so much for fetching Dylan for me, Glider. No, man really likes eggs, huh? I remarked to Zebi, how much Dylan seemed to like eggs. Well, just so you know, the adventure is not exactly over. You see, Dylan's not planning on eating those eggs, I hope. He's quite keen on birds, and, well, it seems at the end of all this, he and I are going to end up with trippy little triplets. Maybe we'll name one after you. <laughs> yes, this is our little chick named Table. I tell Zebby I think I'd like that and give a congratulatory uh, congratulatory farewell. I say goodbye to Zebby. Ahoy there! We meet again on less treacherous ground. Dylan seems in good spirits now the daredevil inside has been satisfied. Maybe I'll catch you at another high point, eh? Say goodbye to Dylan. Can I have your muns? Have your... Oh, that's not a money pot. A bird named Jeff. Cheep, 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 Jeff. Cheep, 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 Jeff. Cheep, 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 cheep. My name's Jeff. I can... Uh, edges? I want to see if I can just go to thing again. Mysterious. Very mysterious. Terribly mysterious. Are you ready yet? Mm -hmm. Hello. Fear me, if you dare. Are you ready? I'm still working on this. Come back soon. Yeah. Ha! Machinist has her own map marker. Cool. Except if I'm here and I just talk to her. Who's here? <gasps> Imposter. So we can go turn in the mask. Um, burnt oak. I like the mask maker there, I guess. Mm -hmm. I should wear sunglasses for these loading screens. Up here. All right, it's night time. See you right time. See, that was the noise again. What is that? Is there some secret I'm walking over? It's like every time. Every time I walk over this general spot here. And it did it that other time in the middle of the desert. It doesn't seem to be the time of day. Oh, well, it's dark in here, I guess. Hence, uncomfortable. Claim the climbing mask. At least we see it in different colors this time. Can't tell if that's just because it's nighttime or 
My game is bugging out. We got the climbing mask. So we would look like this. We have climbing other gear. Yeah. Lizard head. I don't know. I think the beetle is still my favorite to actually wear. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to find all the chums. I'm not sure that's a thing I'm going to do. Um, I haven't found any new ones today. All the places we've been. Um... I've got more scrap I could turn in. We'll visit Alton again. Out uh, here. Alton, what you got? Barely looks up at me. Better have something for me, Glider. Goodbye. I don't really have anything to spend these cuts on anymore either. Let's see. Okay. So other than the queen and waiting for the machinist, that leaves the fishing and deciding what mask we're going to go with. Did I turn in my pillfish and lose the one I caught for the quest? Huh. Well, anyway. Hey. So let's go somewhere near, not straight to the tower, but somewhere near, I say tower, somewhere near the uh, temple here, the shrine, and just like bike there in order to let some more time pass. See, it was night when we left, burnt oak while we were there. Here we are. Beetle nest, right? We want to go. Wait, the marker's still right there. Turn slightly starboard here. It's still night. What time is it? It's midnight. Lurk much? Alright, Wally, thanks for the lurk. Have a good night.
square and I'm hunting here. See, last time I was out this way, I didn't have that much stamina. I wonder if I could climb some of these that I couldn't climb last time. Maybe find some chums up on top of these plateaus. Boing. Let's see, back that way is the temple. Let's ride Samoon as high up this as we can. And hop off. She'll be fine. <laughs> She's a sturdy old gal. This will be cutting it close if I do make it. Come on. Blood table. You could do it. Not gonna do it. Ah. Let's try maybe over this way. Look less steep. Oh, laggy. I think this one looks closer for some reason. It might not be. I don't think the masks actually give anything. We could try it, but I think the only thing that gives you more climbing is collecting the chums and getting the tears from the chum queen. Yeah, that's not gonna get me up there. So the stamina goes that half, like a third line. That's the wrong button. Just watch the moon try to get up here. Timer's mask. Yeah, I don't think it gives any extra climbing for us. I mean, is there a better way to approach this? Maybe from the other side? Did you actually come up here? She's still way down there, but it sounded like she was right behind me. Spooky. Be kind of cool if the cartographer, one of them, would have like, here's where the rest of the chums are marked out, you know? Now that I'm down to the last however many. 13, I think it was. See, this is definitely higher up. Maybe here? We got taller too. <clears throat> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Sideways a bit. Recover. Just walk normal. Woo! Typical Jeff fashion, we come around the corner and there's stairs.
I think I just can't climb that. Oh, it looked like there was some kind of pillar on top. Anyway, the sun's up. It's a new day. What is that way out there? Like, there. Oh, that's the chum layer, isn't it? All right, sun's up. Let's go in here. No, no. I want to fast travel to the machinist. <laughs> Apparently we're just going to put markers all over the map. Hope those are washable. Uh, still over here. Probably still not ready. We know it's at least been one day. Anything? Still working on it. I'm back soon. Fine. Do, 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 do. Trying to decide where to go. If there's anything we haven't really explored for chums. We found tons of chums around that station. Or a few of them, anyway. Is that new? I don't remember the machinists showing up on the map before, but maybe I just never zoomed in far enough. Oh, this cartographer. Glass deviant. What's happening? Just trying to wrap up a few of the quests. I'm not doing the fishing. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a map, chums, would you? Can I buy a map? Of course. No maps. Okay. Thanks, glider. You're welcome. That's cool looking. What's up? Um, that looks interesting. Where do we head there? So let's clear everything first. Open them up there. You didn't sleep all Sunday night. Take an afternoon nap. I'll be up all night tonight. Sounds right. Have I been on top of that thing? Wee hee. Uh, Samu? That away. There you are. Yeah. Yeah, and we've explored pretty well, explored. We've been to all the regions here. Um a little earlier we found the rest of, you know, those temples that you ride through the rings and they rise up out of the ground and we take the ring shaped thing. We found, I looked up online, and um, all the temples were these like red circles. There's one in each region except for the very first one. Yeah, yeah, that's why you need the motorcycle. It's like your Epona. Then there's this mysterious shrine that I hadn't discovered in the Badlands here, where we can take those rings, and there's a machinist that's trying to decipher what we uncovered there. So we went and placed six of those blue rings. Probably don't have them anymore. Yeah. The bike, they, I mean, you have to do a few quests around 
um, around home to get it, but that's like before you leave your home section, which is this uh, the Ewer, I think they call it. This is where you very first start, is in the Avexi camp over here. And before you leave this small area, you do a few quests around to fix things, and then the machinist makes the bike for you. Yeah. It's a bit of a, a tutorial, yeah. Um, what was I doing? Right, I was going to explore whatever this circular thing was over this way. Interesting. Whoop. And you can customize the bike too. Like, I've picked up all kinds of parts. Like, I just kind of like the default one here. And, like, getting different parts doesn't upgrade it or give it any new abilities. Definitely something up there. It's just... You know, makes it look different. And make it... Look however you like. Hmm. I'm this. That's another thing. It's like, this is the climber's mask, but it doesn't give me any extra stamina. I get the stamina from collecting chums and taking them back chum eggs and taking them back to the chum queen. But it would be kind of cool if you could swap out masks to do whatever kind of specialized task that mask helps you with, like get a little extra climbing power for wearing the climber's mask or something. Oh, this does look familiar. I think I've been up here. Maybe? Maybe not. Whoa. Hey. So this is like, I could pick a color to customize the bike with that color. What is this? I just never came in here. Or maybe I wasn't able to climb the outside before. Yep, stamina. Stamina cap is through like, ex Boring. If you want to put it that way. Because the chums are those weird stem things that are around. Here's one. So we find these things that are just randomly all over the map. Ta da! So I take this egg back to the chum queen, which she wants like 20 at a time. This will be the last 20. I've got eight of them right there. So 12 more to find if I want the final piece of stamina, which is, would be that. I grab onto the wall. So there's that little bit around. It'll finish the last square around there. There were also some doors in there, and I kind of want to see if those doors open if I bring them all back. But I'm not going to be doing that tonight. I might do that on my own time and record it and just have like a little epilogue video or something. I guess I should go to one of the stations and try customizing the bike, because I didn't try that at all interesting to see what you can do there but I don't know I kind of like the look of the glass the clear glass uh, original Samoon out here you go to the machinists to customize your bike oh may I help I haven't tried this yet Wait, it does change things? Look at that. Yeah, don't lose your bike. 
So the handling of this thing drives like a boat. So this is gliding bike. That's the original. I could get more speed out of the whale ship there. Ooh, and then I can pick the color out of these sets of dyes that I found as I was going around. I like that red. One's a little better. That teal. That's the whale ship bike wing. Bike front. Adds even more speed. And we'll go to the same color palette for that. So I could do whatever. And then the whale ship bike engine gets me full speed. That's cool. Man, I should have been doing that all along. But it's still Samoon. I like that engine sound. Got a rumble to it. That's quite a bit better. Going over the hills and stuff. Do a flip. Ah. Do a barrel roll. Thunk. All right. So I'm not doing the fishing quest. I keep saying that, but... 20 chum eggs. Has it been a few days yet? Here. Let's ride our bike over there. Maybe enough time will pass. Marker down. Head on over. Ooh, I like how those wings suck in as you accelerate. That's cool. You see that? What is that over there? Is that the atomic heart? Hey, Dan, you know, I'm thinking about it. When I say thinking about it, I think not. Whoa. Okay. Getting a little glitchy here. A little bit of lag. the Badlands. The Dadlands. Go this way. a secret tunnel. Been long enough yet? Probably not if she's over here. Still working on it. Come back soon. Alright, you know what?
I'm thinking I'm gonna head back home, pick a mask, and call it a night. So once she does decipher those texts, oh man, can't take this. <laughs> Skippy. Once she deciphers those texts, what we end up getting is she builds some more bike parts for us. And then we can take them and try them out. I don't know if they're super fantastic, you know, adding handling or acceleration or what, whatever the ancient race comes up with there, but maybe there's a bit of lore around it too. Oh, I might make an epilogue episode to try and 100% this, but I'll probably do that on my own time. Off, not off camera, but off stream. And then let's put it up on YouTube as sort of a wrap up. Assuming I can come back after I pick. No. After I pick the um, all over Samoon. Like, if it's not the end-to-end end of the game, I can still keep playing afterward. Come on over, Samoon. This way. Alright, let's head home. Go we'll visit the old tribe. I'm still not sure what mask I want to wear, though. Which one I'm going to choose. And I wonder if there's an option to, like... I'm not going to choose, or... You know... Make the decision to... Go do my own thing. Oof, that one was solid. stream. I'm gonna just stop and s start the game again. See if that helps with this lag. On YouTube, through the magic of editing, some of this will go away. Anybody want a joke or anything? Drop out of it there for a minute. Start it back up. Bazinga. Bazinga. Two jokes and a long joke. Uh, continue. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it's full grown. Bazinga. Whee! Okay, that's just handling, that's not lag. All right, this does so far seem a lot better. Joke, joke, joke. All right, we're heading home. Real quick, actually, before we do that. Probably, now nah, we were just there. 
It's not gonna happen. Enough time passed. Oh, ow. Did I ever go up there? I feel like I just kind of did whatever the quests said to do, but didn't really look around and hear that much. There's a thing up here. Hey, chump. Hey, chump. You chum any chum lately, chum? Chummy old chum. 89. I think that's a rock. It looked like something else. All right, Simone. Mm -hmm. oh. Some cuts in here. This old ship. Which I wonder. They talked about terraforming the place and everything. Where'd all these wooden boats come from? Was this a watery place once? So this was our starting area, and I remember running all over the place in here, feeling like this place was huge. And then we went out to the wider world, and it's like, holy crap, map got big. All right, well, let's go see who remembers us. Yeah. Yeah, this one, all the parts for this one came from the great big ship called the Whale, which the lore ended up showing us that it was, uh, like, it's how we all got here. There was... There was a set of six ships, one crashed in each region, imagine that. Um, and the first mate ended up convincing the captain that we're not getting out of here because there's something with the atmosphere that keeps things from getting in and out. And that's why they crashed here instead of just landing. But um, the terraformers were damaged in the crash and were leaking radiation. So if they turned them on, it would shoot radiation into the air, which meant they wouldn't be able to live here. But the first mate convinced the captain that they needed to turn them on so that their children's children, or maybe their children's children, however many centuries away, eventually the radiation would go away and people would be able to live here. And it talked about how people had to wear masks in order to go from ship to ship to travel around. And that would maybe explain why it's a tradition now that everybody wears masks. So, Machinist is not here. Um, just in case, I should pick a mask now. <laughs> the entertainer's mask. It jingles when you walk. We're gonna pop it on your head. Uh -huh. Um. So the beetles are kind of like they were the innkeepers. They're going to be a merchant or a scrapper. A guard doesn't quite feel right either. So, so maybe the climber? And maybe the machinist. Yeah, the masks just change your appearance. This one came in handy to scare off a bird because it was shiny. But as far as I know, none of the other masks really do anything. 
We used this one in a quest to scare off some guards. But the masks are here at the end. We end up saying like the mask is like how you end up choosing like your guild. And I think you can't, you know, if I didn't collect, say, the machinist mask, then I couldn't choose machinist when I go to finish the game. I've never seen how the game ends either or anything, so I'm just guessing at some of that. Yikes. Oh, yeah, this would also end my gliding period once I pick, pick my career as the Ibex camp draws closer. The imagined threshold between home and gliding is palpable. It reminds me of coming in from a sandstorm, so fierce that the grains have whipped through the air and through your clothes. You peel off layers of sand-beaten fabric and marvel at the dust on your skin, the bits that manage to get through despite every precaution. And you feel so grateful to be home, and so comforted by the safety of the indoors, you can't help but smile, nostalgic, as you wash the sand away. What an adventure you've had. And it was only for you. Am I ready to choose my mask now? There's no going back if I do. You saw the, uh, the one with the guards. Tell you what. Let's do one more next week. We'll see about the chum queen. We'll see about the mysterious rings. And we'll pick our mask and call it a night. And if it ends up not taking the full time, we'll play something else. But I think that'll be it for tonight. I was kind of hoping to finish up, but this will also work well. So it's time to pick a raid target. Not yet. But do. Let me just sit here and think, I guess. Guiding the raid there, Joe. Patrick Static. That is how you spell it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. You already picked. Playing Seven Days to Die, huh? I think I've seen a little bit of that game on YouTube. All right. So we're gonna raid Patrick. We're gonna say hey, um, and we'll be back next week, one way or another. It'll be the last week. It'll be the last, uh, last little bit. We'll pick a mask, and we'll call it the end. We'll call this series done. Um, but in the meantime, 
Remember to be kind, have fun, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>